Well hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. You join me today in France and it's absolutely, it's absolutely lovely to be honest. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm here with the lads and again, I'm sure throughout the week we're going to depth of exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it. At the moment, as you know, when you turn up at a lake, it's all a big mad rush. So the reason for this first little intro is basically just to let you know I'm here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll cut in later and I'll, and I'll talk in depth about what I'm doing man, and how I'm doing it. But for now, I need to sort of start eyeing up what I'm doing, sort of seeing where the depths are, go out of the pole and just have a, a real good play and really try and suss up what's going on. So that's where I am guys, that's what I'm doing. And that what I'm going to say is before I start this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And hopefully I can bring you an absolute bang video. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Tonight's dinner, spag bowl, look at this. And garlic bread, mate, absolutely and lovely. Almost and, and, we've got dessert. Look at this. Whoa. What's that, like chocolate brownie chocolate with? Brownie with uh, creamy custard, I think. Oh. We'll have some of that point, don't we get much better than that, does it, mate? Look at that. Uh, So guys, first of all, I'm going to apologise because the video has jumped a little bit. It was really, really nice yesterday. So if we get, we got up, probably took four, five, six hours to set up. You know, it is when you first turn up to a lake, everything's just got to be right, and you're scouting it out and just making sure everything is pucker. So it was nice to actually put the camera down yesterday and just really enjoy having a social and being on holiday at this beautiful place. So Rat Forest Lakes is a four-acre lake. There's around a hundred odd fish in here, something like that. Um, and last night, none of us had anything. Um, but Trev, he's, he's actually actually got snapped off yesterday and we think it was a I think it was a big catfish. I think there's four catfish in here that go and there's a couple over 100 pound apparently. So um, it's pretty mad, it's pretty mad. So w what's happened? What's happened so far? So we've <laughs> won a bit of money last night on the... Uh, Tyson Tyson Fury fight, my god, and then the England game as well, 5 0 on that, so that was that was interesting. Food I wanted to touch on as well. The food we've had we've had um so the first morning we turned up um, wasn't wasn't something we were gonna do. It was, I'm not gonna go to depth why, but I mean we, we, we messed up a bit really and um we, we, we turned up a little bit earlier than, than we thought we were gonna stay in a hotel, but the particular hotel that we were at um didn't speak a word of english couldn't couldn't get um food or anything so we actually turned up to the lake a day early um but terry the the, the hospitality the, the the guys that run the lake up here is just brilliant we had um uh breakfast rolls in the morning fresh breakfast rolls with egg and sausage in really well cooked and really tasty as well and that's a big factor for me when i'm on holiday as well because you want to be eating well come on when you're away you want you want decent food and to be fair so far all the boxes have been ticked we had spag bowl last night and um what i'll do is i'll put up on the screen now guys of the breakfast we had this morning it comes around in almost like a chinese dish that you get in on uh that you get at home and um we had you know sausage hash browns egg mushroom beans a couple of bits of bread absolutely bang and it was and i'm full now so my plan of action um, rods have been out since since probably midday yesterday, two-ish yesterday. I haven't I haven't had a single beep, not even a beep. I've got my sensitivity quite high as well. I'm fishing back, so everything's pinned down, but I've not had nothing, nothing at all. 
So yeah, it's um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them till probably one, two o'clock because I'm still trying to suss out what goes on and where the fish move, um, where they where they're showing. There's a lot showing on that tree line, and I'm sure I'm go. I'll go into depth um, later on in this video and show you what I mean by that. But it's, it's quite, like I say, quite a small lake and very open. So you've only got one tree line, all these overhanging trees, where obviously the fish are going to pull and steer over there. And I think that's what they're, um, where the lads were fishing last night. Also where Trev had that, um, had that snap off as well. So yeah, that's, that, that's, that's where I'm at at the moment. Like I say, I'm going to keep you in the loop throughout the duration of the week. But the sun it's crazy you know at home now it's actually really getting cold and you've probably seen guys in my previous videos last couple of years, oh it's getting cold it's getting cold I come over here it's like 25 degrees it's like it's madness absolute madness so I'm, so I'm loving life at the moment but I'm gonna have a shower I'm gonna have a shower um, very soon I think clean up recharge like I said I'm gonna leave them I'll probably leave the rods out do that do that this afternoon if I'm honest have a shower this afternoon and um, quickly go up come back and then rejig um, but hopefully over the next couple of hours it might be able to nick something and it'd be lovely to get that first fish on the bank Right then guys, so that's the rods back out. I've had my shower now. And a few things while well, I've got them in my head, which I'm gonna to touch on in this video, video, is the facilities they've got here, which are absolutely lovely to be fair. It's like a typical French uh, building, if you like, and you can go in there and it's got a shower, toilet and stuff. And again, I'll get some video of that. And the other thing was, what was it? The other thing was, um, I'm not vaccinated. I haven't had the vaccines myself and I managed to get over it. And I think I'll touch on that now. So the only reason I got over here really, and it was an absolute nightmare to be honest. I do not advise if you haven't had the vaccines and you're not coming over for work per, per, um, purposes, don't bother, you ain't gonna get over. The only reason I got over, all the other lads are vaccinated. Um, the only reason I got over is because um, the lake actually have written a formal email and I've come over pr promotional film what you're watching now and um so the lady was like when well, there it was a it was a polish lady and she turned around and she said um yeah you got your fit to fly paperwork yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah there's that yeah um because obviously i didn't have the because it's a qr code she turned out they go qr code i go no no sorry i don't have the qr code haven't had jabs okay well fit to fly then she goes quite quite sarcastically i was like yeah yeah all right there's a fit to fly and then she said um then the statement of trust or whatever it is give her that she's like yeah but why are you coming over I'm working and that's when I gave the email with all, my, with all the wording on and stuff so what I would say is guys if you are coming over and you're not vaccinated I wouldn't even bother at the moment because you're going to get up to that you're going to get to the airport and it is a bloody nightmare absolute nightmare and um, this is this this rolls on to the next thing obviously where we flew uh, flew over um, it was we've hired all the gear which again something else I'll top, touch on in this video the gear's brilliant. I mean, I've got a, I think it's a Nash Titan tent, I think I've got. Nice bed chairs, nice warm sleeping bags. I've got century rods. I'm fishing with century rods. Yes, yeah, century rods, I'll say that again. Um, 50 mil butt rings, lovely action on 13 footers. So I can't grumble with that at all. 
and um, yeah they, all, all the gear seems really good waders etc and like I said the um, hospitality of the the guys here they're brilliant anything you want it's like well no problem we'll get it for you no issue at all I'll pop up the tackle shop do you need no 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 Ben or, or the lads we'll, we'll get we'll get it for you so um, from that point of view 10 out of 10 I can't I can't um, I can't fault that at all and the reason why I'm bringing all this up guys is because when you guys do come over anybody who's watching this is trying to get an insight of what this lake is about you're going to get a good gauge by the end of this video exactly what the lake is about so yeah, I'm not going to waffle, but I am going to head over because I want to start eyeing up a few bits and bobs. Um, I think I am going to set up a third rod at the moment. I've only got two rods out and they're on the spot. I'm fishing about 13 wraps and I'm eyeing up against a tree. I went out yesterday with the with the, with the net pole. And it's, it's, it's a very, very, very shallow lake. I mean, you're probably talking up to it. I'm about six foot and it's probably probably about up to here. And um, so it's not very not very deep at all, but I'm going out of the pole. Yeah, I'm trying to find a spot. I'm thinking uniform, 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 uniform. Got to about 13 wraps. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm there with my feet. Some of my waders. I'm thinking, crikey Moses, this is like, it's solid. It was absolutely solid. So obviously where they've been rubbing on it, grubbing on it, eating on it, what have you. So that was a no-brainer. Put two rods on that. Haven't had any fish off it yet, but that's definitely, definitely, definitely a feeding spot. So, yeah, there it is. And hopefully the carp play ball this afternoon because the people that were here last week, apparently most of the bites came in the day and they didn't really have much in the night. So that's also reassuring you can get them some, some good shots. I just hope we can get some absolute bangers on the bank. No no fish, no fish, fish as of yet, par the one obviously we've lost. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm on, a, I'm on holiday and uh, I can't wait for the rest of the week. Right, so that third rod, I'm heading around now with a, with a pole without snagging myself. <laughs> um, heading around there now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eye that spot up right by. There's some lilies. And again, I'll show you in a sec. There's some lilies. Nick seen them this morning. Yesterday, I saw him show just off them lilies. So I'm going to go over and see how deep it is. Clip up with my rod. I'm not going to put much bait over there because it's going to be one of them rods that I think I can just nick a bite. It'd be lovely to just get a fish from that to sort of get, get the ball rolling if you like. So I'm going to go down there now and see what's going on. I'll keep you posted. All right, so I'm on the other side of the lake now. And just here is all them lilies that I mentioned to you about. And this is where they were showing, just off the front of that. There's my swims just there. Crikey. That's Marty's lead. So you got me. Marty, his dad, and Nick, four of us. Right, I'm gonna get out there now, have a little plum around. Try not to disturb it too much and see what's going on. Clearly it's not very deep, you're probably looking X, but that's big enough for a 50 pounder to go in and feed. So, obviously loving the shallow water, clearly, 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 clearly. So, I'm gonna fish like I do at home. I'm not gonna go crazy with bait, I'm just gonna try and entice a bite, a little bit of bait. Get clipped up nicely. I'm not gonna fish on the lilies, because it's probably there. It's a bit when you come off them, it goes to about there, like I said. So, that's what I'm gonna do fishing that slightly deeper and as you probably saw I didn't go out and start thumping about just a, just a little bit um, remember we're here for a week I'd rather go out and scout out yeah I might not catch nothing for a day off that spot but at least I know what the bottom's like um, how I can presentate etc etc So if I'm honest, we sort of started walking back round and I thought on the way back I'm just going to check and just, just watch the water. So as I was standing on sort of the bank I'm looking over, I can see vortex in on the sort of on, on this really shallow, probably nay, 
I need this I need this deep but there was vortex and then it stopped then I watched it for a bit longer then there was a bit more vortexing and then some some sand come up so, mm, I've seen a fish there be no brainer so what I've done is I scrapped off the lids didn't even put any bait in anyway and what I've done is I've just nicked the bait back and slyly put it out a couple of you know handful of OG OG fish which is what I managed to bring over in the suitcase some 80 mil dumbbells and I've got a little handful of them some of the new sauce over the top and I've just dropped it and it and it went out very nice I've got that line lay lovely now so fingers crossed that could be a fish that really could be a fish that's the first signs of definite feeding I've seen since I've been here, especially over my side so that's a good sign Right then guys, so this is Nick's swim and um, he's fishing tight against the margin over here because again people were here the week before had a couple of 40s. One was down there I think it was 42 and he's fishing one on that spot and this, these two rods I think he's sp spread apart. It's very undercut the bank because he's put the pole right underneath so he's pulled the um, bait boat right up to it and then dropped it so he's, he's probably that far off the bank. So that is Nick's swim and exactly what he's doing. The wind's picking up lovely now and it's coming in towards us. Whether that moves the fish, I don't know, but being that it's so shallow, I would think it would. So it's coming up to three o'clock and them two rods again have been out since I've been here so I am scheduled for doing that and they're in line with this tree. So what I've done is slowly move you around here. I've made two bags up, little PVA mesh bags, two baits in there for one rod. I've got a little pop up on there which sits absolutely lovely on the bottom, kind of sits, sort of just, just covers the hook. So basically all I've got there is a seven inch stiff boom, little bit of putty size 4 hook, little kicker cut down on there for presentation and then obviously a, a, um, a longer kicker there cut right back so you get that kick out and that again that great presentation when you cast and hit the clip same again on this rod the only difference is on this one I've got a sort of a snowman set up and what I've done is there I've um, cut the bait down and then cut the pop up down so it sits uniform other thing I've done you probably think what's all that grub what I've done is I've crumbed the baits up obviously it's really sunny I've crumbed the baits up and I want it to stick to the bait so I'm leaving it out in the sun on the top of the bivvy so it all sticks to it um, and hopefully I'll get them um, them cast bang on first time and then that'll be them two rods here my left hand rod that I put out here where I saw the um, uh, movement earlier or the, or what that I mentioned here I think I'm going to move this rod over here next to here and then fish off the back of the pads this evening it's a shame I didn't have one because there was definitely a fish feeding but I am going to move, like I said, that left hand rod here and fish out here. But I'm going to get that done now, I think, and um, get it done early. I am going to fish foam on the hook. Obviously, I put about 20 kilo over the spot yesterday. One bucket and spread it all around, probably the size of a bivy. Um, when the blue, I'm fishing blue foam, so when that blue foam pops up, I'm going to probably put, I don't know, 50 baits out. Just spread them with a catapult all over the spot and that is I'm going to leave it to. I don't want to go put loads more bait in because I haven't had a fish. It'd be silly to go and hammer it in again. But that's the plan, Stan, and that's what I'm going to do.
well what an absolute nightmare that was to be honest with you two left hand rods four casts but now they're on the money I, I hold my hands up you know I'm not, not going to sit here and say I've done it first cast because I didn't one of the one of the I'm, I'm just, just not that you need to dump your leads here but I've got plenty I'm just pulling the rubber on cast one hit, hit the clip lovely boom and lead come off so that was that one recast that and then that went out nice um, the other one just wasn't happy with it didn't hit that hit that sort of sweet spot when you hit the clip it just didn't didn't it wasn't right so i've redone them to cut a long story short two left hand rods are on the money now but it was a pain in the ass <sighs> with that one of my bloody gold alarms has just stopped working typical to be over here and it stops working so at the moment i could go i don't know about any of you guys but i'm a bit of a tart when it comes to making everything symmetrical and everything looking sort of uniform if you like on the bank and getting all everything level yeah, again i'm sure there's plenty of people watching this know exactly what i mean but at the moment i've got a black a gold and a gold now so it's <laughs> but it is what it is i'd rather be able to hear my um alarms in the middle of the night and then get a screamer and then miss it because i haven't had any fish yet so moving on to the right arm rod um what i've done is with that one i've actually hit it as hard as i could over 20 wraps i think it is um and i've and I've got it and it's, it's land the other side of the lake so what I've done is thanks to Nick he's given me a hand and I've pulled my tip up I've said yep yeah, tighten up tighten up went round with a bucket um, OG fish with the, both the liquids a few other little bits in there as well and I've said yep yeah, tighten up over there and I've literally dropped my rig in like that two bits of um you can get away where you're dropping it in you can get away with putting two bits of blue foam on so I've done that I've dropped, the, dropped the rig in over there settled lovely it probably took about i don't know 35 seconds and then boom she's come up and then what i've done i've just filled it in and i've literally it's not a dustbin i'm talking bucket lid and i probably put two, two kilo on the spot and it absolutely stinks the new liquid so um it, <laughs> could i catch a catfish on that tonight there's a very high um <laughs> chance I, I would say because of um the particular mix i've put on that but at the moment i'll take a fish so that's right and rod happy with that and they leave them now through the night i'm probably not going to reel them in now till two o'clock tomorrow because i'm happy with them like i said i'd rather do it a few times be a hundred percent on the money than be laying there in my bed chair tonight thinking oh was it right was it not um so yeah that's the update really um roast dinner tonight so i'm absolutely buzzing for that i've been having a few beers today if, so i'm feeling a bit mer merry but i'm happy i really am happy i'm, I'm lo loving that i, I wasn't going to drink this week um due to my fitness and everything but yeah hit <laughs> that one out the window as soon as i step foot in france really so <laughs> so what i'm going to do is in a second i'm going to go up Marty's just got his rods out, his dad's just got his rods out, but Nick's now getting his two rods out and he wants a hand with his third rod because he's actually going to fish um, a washing line setup. So what I'm going to try and do is, guys, I'll try and get some footage of that. But if I can't go into depth, because it is quite boring for people that have seen it before, because it's something I've spoke about in previous videos. And if you if you are interested in the full washing line setup and how that works, on the channel there's um, a video called Newlands Hall Fishery. And I had two very, very, very nice carp on the washing line. And it goes into depth about how you fish it, what you do, etc, etc. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to head up there now, give Nick a hand. And I'm looking forward to our roast dinner. Happy days. See you in a bit. Join me in Nick's swim and he's just over there now. What he's done, he's actually wading it out and he's just going to drop his rig. He's got a um, basically two bits of fake corn on there and what he's going to do is he's going to fill it in with particles straight over the top of it. But he's literally gone over there now, he's going to place it in, make sure he gets that donk and like I said, fill it in, come back, get that perfect line lay and that will be Nick's right hand rod. Happy days. Right, so I just went over with Nick there and I've just been getting him in my waders. My God, it sort of comes down. There's a little bit of a shelf and it drops again, but it is like loads of gravel. Obviously, all the fish have been grubbing around and I, mean, I thought my spot was clean. That is ridiculous over there. Absolutely ridiculous. Clearly a spot where carp feed. So in a second, again, I'm not going to be able to get any video of this, guys, but Nick's casting over there now. I'm going to go over and we're going to set this washing line set up up and hopefully he can bag one in the middle of the night. And he's just cast over there absolutely perfect let's go over there and get this rod out
right guys well that's me done rods nick <laughs> nick nick nick's rods nick's rods are out all of our rods are out we're all happy with them we can't do any more now i'm going to enjoy the evening we've got roast in this evening i'll try and get a bit of footage of that but i have got to be careful we've got another six nights and i've nearly done a battery already <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me i haven't got corona um yeah i've nearly done a battery already so we're gonna have a few beers tonight and um, like i said I'll, I'll get a bit of footage of the food so you can see that because it's quite interesting for people that come over here to see the quality the quality of the food and credit where it's due because it is it's blooming good food it really is um from what we've seen so far it's been fantastic so i'll get a bit of footage of that guys and you'll probably then see me in the morning because like i said i've got to be so careful now but i'm buzzing for it second night let's have it and hopefully one of us bags one tonight i'll see you guys in a bit how much you win 472 pounds <laughs> get in one there from one spin on one pound crazy mate look Love at that, that. money dinner all we need now is a fish what is that, so what's this but banoffee is Benoffee, it Benoffee, yeah Benoffee roast dinner look at that mate i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna enjoy this don't get much pray better for a bite. and pray for a bite you know look at this roast dinner and the lake behind us come on the nosser pigs Oh, lovely, jubbly. Well, you can't see me, but it looks absolutely mega out there this morning. Strange old night, really strange old night. So about 12 o'clock, right hand rod, proper carpy bike. Tip, 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 beep, 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 beep. Run on, put my waders on, ran out into the water, slowly pulled up into it, thinking, yep, yeah, connected. Pulls back on it, pink. And it wasn't a tink that the hooks come out, it was a tink that snapped. I mean, what? I didn't pull into it. Oh, why has it done that? Why has it done that? Reels it back in. Nothing looks at my finger. It's almost like it's gone at the knot, but there's nothing wrong with my knots at all. Um, as you know, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not knocking the gear whatsoever because it's, it's, it's good quality gear, but obviously when you're not using your own line, you don't know how it reacts to different scenarios, etc., etc. excuses aside, I don't know if it's the line because that's the same thing now it's happened to Trev so I don't know Nick actually had one last night didn't get any video of it guys it was about 12 pound it was a common about 12 pound and that was on his margin rod over a bed of particle where he had that particular fish but coffee time now again I'm going to be very careful with the battery because obviously we've got still what's that another five nights ahead of us and I've only got three batteries left and this is a bit I'm on my third now so I still want to bring you hopefully a fantastic video they could switch on at any moment I'm sure but when you got that view in front of you <laughs> really who cares but coffee time for me I'll see you in a bit so then guys a little check-in um, 12 o'clock now absolutely lovely breakfast again give him his due terry come down on point beautiful roll egg bacon sausage in it <sighs> lovely jubbly um i can't complain at all that's done with me element when i got food in front of me as a lot of you know watch the channel um food isn't my forte i'm not very good at cooking it so um as a lot of the comments are in previous videos but now the food to be cooked and to be weighed on this week is a real pleasure and i thank you again for that mate when you do watch this video back um like i said food thank you very much i think i think we've got or something tonight or kebab or something he's gonna make it all fresh so I'm buzzing for that although the fishing at the moment hasn't switched on 
it's sunny it's a beautiful place to be and the food like I said absolutely on point so if there's anything so far I can take away from that trip them couple of things are right up there happy days Well, I've had the mick taken out of me the last few days, but look at these bad boys. I think they were 4.99 euros. Again, Terry's gonna be watching this and thinking, you absolute pillock. He hates them. But to be fair, I love them. And now I'm gonna absolutely make the most of these bad boys when they get home. Look at, them. Look at that, mate. Oh yeah, it's got carp written all over that. Come on. and then back to the swim. <laughs> and if you're wondering why there is tents up behind the swim guys, them kids tents is because to be fair, he helped us out massively. Like you say, we were a day early. There was people in all the other tents, hence why, just, just to get a good night's sleep on that first night. And there's the rods. Like I say, beer in hand, life is good. <laughs> There's no bloomin' fish. Come on the Nossa pigs. Well guys, it is really, really, really hard going. It's coming up to four o'clock now. The lads have just popped up the shop to be fair to go and get some um get some alcohol and that and top up on they they some cigarettes and what have you. Um what I've done, I've redone my um left hand rod. I know I said to yesterday I had like odd bite alarms to be a bit tarty and make it look a little bit more nice. <laughs> I've pulled them over and now I know I'm ahead if my receiver goes off I know exactly what alarm even before I get to the rod so if that's anything but yeah it's so hard it is hard going it really is. Um, I've been sat there this afternoon I was thinking um, again advice that if you are coming over things to bring. Um, the bottom is uh, sandy and there is some real hard gravel bits as well. So therefore, if you're coming over, you're bringing leads, don't even bother bringing silt leads. I'd bring sandy colored leads with you and also uh, gravel slash sandy slash clay leaders, uh, lead core, etc. And then think about that with your little bits of terminal tackle as well, you know, to if you want to be real sort of specific and get everything really nice um, and sort of color adjusted to the bottom, then that's, that's the thing to do. Um, I talk like I've, like I know, but <laughs> clearly this time it hasn't worked. I sort of brung all the stuff with me this time because I've never been here before. Um, but next time, if I was to come, um, I would bring obviously that. So that again, that's something else to a food for thought if you are coming over, guys, and what bits to bring with you. But I'm going to chill out the rest of this up the afternoon. I've got a bottle of JD coming in a second, so I'm going to enjoy that. Um, it's not saying I've been doing recently drinking much because I've been on this whole um, health shock thing again and um, just trying to cut a bit of weight but I'm gonna have a nice whiskey I think when I get back and they've even found ice so win-win really lake in front of me and a whiskey mm, yes please that's a bit of me that so fingers crossed they just switch on and we start having them but at the moment it's not looking good it really isn't having a laugh mate what we got here mate Venison. Ven oh, venison chips. chips. Look at that salad. Salad. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels, mate. And what is this? It's a dessert. I'm not gonna lie, look at this. This is this is a star mate, this isn't it? You can't really complain. Got a chip, mate. Look at that. Wow. Let's have it.
speechless. That was some of the best meat I've ever tasted. So that was deer. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Savage the bone and all sorts there. That was just compliments to the chef. Absolutely beautiful. And I know I said it, but I'm gonna say it again. The food here is just absolutely ridiculous. And that's definitely one thing I'll be taking home with me is the food and it's just wow. Wow, 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 wow. Excuse me, what I will do is guys, I'll keep in the loop over the duration of the next few hours. I'll probably check in before bed. If I don't, I apologize. Um, Cause we are having a few whiskeys and just enjoying ourselves and just ultimately being on holiday. It's just absolutely lovely. It really is. And just fish, fishing aside from a, show, uh, a social point of view, it's been absolutely, absolutely beautiful it really has it's been a really nice few days so i'm gonna leave it at that but hopefully next time you see me i've got an absolute bang on the bank fingers crossed So this is Tuesday now. Last night, so what, what can I report about last night? So I had one beep on my middle rod. <laughs> that is it. Um, I would say they were the most active. I've seen them last night. Def well, I've seen them or heard them. I should say I couldn't see them. I, I heard them. Um, it's funny because Nick's just come up and he brought me a coffee. Bless him. Thanks very much, mate. And um, he goes last night Cole, did you hear him last night i said yeah i heard him last night definitely the most active they've been i said yeah agree there mate yeah definitely i said i heard some right over the back and heard some to the right he said yeah i heard exactly the same so we're all, we're all hearing the same thing but no fish to report i don't know what we're doing wrong i don't think we're doing anything wrong um I really don't, I don't even know why I said it really, I mean, you're like, oh, I was saying, I say again, I think you get to the point when you're over here or wherever you go, sometimes you start doubting yourself, you think, am I doing anything wrong? Should I tweak what I'm doing? My rods have been out probably over, well they definitely have, they're one of, two of them have been out over 30 hours now and my right hand rod's been over, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be 24 hours on my right hand rod because I've done that first thing yesterday morning. So, I know I'm presentated, 100%, but I just don't think the fish are feeding. I really, really don't. It is cold at night. It is really, really cold. It gets down to about five, six. Um, and apparently over the duration of the last couple of weeks from what the, um, the owners said, Terry basically said that the, the temperature's sort of been dropping and been up and down. You're on that sort of changeover period in regards to weather. So whether that's anything but I'm only going by what he sort of said to us and it's a little bit frustrating but hopefully we can work it out I mean it was sort of last night it was all looking so good we had a real nice evening had some good food and we started seeing the fish and you know even March rod I thought that will be the rod that goes I said that in the video and I don't think it's gone Nick's rods were on point everybody's rods were on point but sometimes it just doesn't happen but let me turn you around real quick. Look at this. Sun coming up over the back. Doesn't do it justice, it's gnarly. You've got this mist over the top. Proper lovely place to be, it really is. It's beautiful every morning. Every morning since we've been here, it's just been absolutely something else. Spectacular to look at. But I'm going to keep positive. I really am. I really, really am. I've got I've got a couple of kilo left of OG fish. I'm going to tweak things around today. Maybe, uh, maybe drop a one rod on the bait boat um, and do something like that. Um, 
bit more pellet in the mix maybe because that's something that goes in here a lot because I haven't got loads and loads of pellet in it's primarily boily at the moment um, so I'm going to add more pellet to the mix just tweak things like that and see if that does anything so yeah looking forward to breakfast I really am. The sauce. Tomato sauce, baby. Breakfast time. Eggs. Oh, shadow in there, look. Just Sausage. We bacon. We eggs. Lovely. Curry. <laughs> Have a lovely breakfast. Full English that time. Just before that. I saw a fish show, clear as day, Nick saw it come out of the water. I saw the show but I didn't see the fish, it's 100% a carp. Getting to the point now where I've got to act upon it. <laughs> the second I see a show, I've got to do something. So, right hand rod, reeled it in quick, which is the one over by the lilies the other side, reeled it back in. Reset my bank stick. Put a tiny little mesh bag on, loads of the sauce on it because it's PVA friendly. Hook my hook link on pink. Not 100% where I wanted it, probably about a rod length off, but it's definitely in the zone. So if they are over there and there's a couple of fish, then fingers crossed. But it's nice, the first day sort of since we've been here that we've started seeing them show quite early on. Yesterday was the most show we, shows we saw, but that was sort of from half past three onwards. So to see them this early is nice. Um, there's meant to be a windy bit of a chop on the water today um, in the same sort of temperatures as the last couple of days. So fingers crossed and um, hopefully we can bag one today and start getting into them. Who knows? So I'm just over with Mark's rod now. We're getting, taking to take the boat out. So he's got a little, got a handful there, oh, when, it, when it decides to focus, a handful there of dumbbells, which is the OG fish. And what he's about to do is now is put some sauce on. Literally just put it on. So that there's the nut sauce. Obviously normally I'd fish fruit and nut and then the, the, the fish as well, sort of the combined. But obviously at the moment we only got, well I only managed to bring five key of the, the fish over for obvious reasons, being that we we're flying everything going on in the world at the moment. It was a bit of a risk even doing that. And this is the other sauce he's putting on now. And I think this rod, where this one going, mate? It's just going on the right hand rod, so it's going, in, it's going into the trees. Into, into the trees over here. Again, you can't quite see, it's a bit of mist on it, but it's sort of over there. There's a magic finger, look, just over there. Let's get this rod out, mate. Yes, mate. Right, well, that's. Marty's right hand rod out, that went out absolutely lovely. He actually went round in the end. I stayed by his rods so he could see, because you can't quite see with the mist and dropped it where he was happy. I just got the line lay right for him. Um, he's gonna come over and obviously slacken that off and do what he needs to do, but you gotta remember, for the first 10 rod lengths here, it's really shallow. All across this bank is shallow as shallow. I mean, you've gotta wade right out to even land a fish. Half the lake from where I am is shallow. You're talking three, four inches of water. <laughs> so you can't presentate it at all. You wouldn't want to put a, um, a rig on that because it's just way too shallow. You've got his dad over there watching the water. Like I said, Nick and Mark are over there now, but hopefully that does the job. That's definitely two rods on point, but <sighs> we shall see. Ben's got a nice one. Go on, oh. Go on son. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely scrap well, Ben, don't they? Don't they just know? Hey! 
Well guys, it's taken three days, but we finally got there in the end. This particular bob was out uh, just over 35 hours. Lovely comet. <sighs> it lets me, bloody angry thing, look at that. Lovely fish. Over the top of the OG fish, and then the munch baits as well, combined over the two really. Um, obviously, as I said before in the beginning of the vlog, I could only get a little bit of bait over with me. But, we're off the mark. Well, second fish now, because Nick's obviously had that sort of 12 pounder. Like I said, this one, just under 24. Absolutely buzzing. I'm gonna get this one back. Rods are already out, back on the spot. Happy days, thank you very much. Probably be rude not to get in the water with this one. Like I say, first fish for me. Nice long comment. Thank you very much. Get in there. So I'm preparing the left hand rod now. I'm going to put three on the spot. I'm going to cover it in sauce. one as well. Right, let's get this one out. Left down rod, just off the track. Well, that changed the mood a little bit, but um, that's the boat that look, I don't normally use bait boats. I don't really like the things to be honest, but being that I needed to get that out and I don't want to fluff a cast and then go and kill the spot over there being that's the first fish I've had obviously I cast the first two on the spot they're probably about a foot and a half off each other and then I've catapulted out some bait over the top of it not too much and then the left down rod I've probably put about a kilo maybe two kilo of all the same feed that I put in a rigid right right at the start a bit of everything to be fair um, even there's a little bit of parkour in there as well all sourced up and I've dropped that in a bait boat to left I still put it in the clip so when you come up to the clip just before you do come up to the clip unclip it toggle on the left drop I dropped it and it's like literally so I've got two here and like I said one probably a rod length off the spot but I fish like that a lot of the time in England as well and um, that sometimes picks up the bigger fish being that it's off the spot if maybe they are maybe they are where maybe they're not but um yeah so I'm back out I'm happy with that time for a beer I think but um yeah buzzing I've had the first one get in there so it's two o'clock now lovely out here it looks it looks really 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 nice but um no more fish wind can't make its mind up some it's like this and then it comes forward then it goes off the back sort of a chops around the bottle it's very funny really you can't really put a finger on it but like I said no more fish it's got a bit quiet after having one this morning I thought that might have been the start of something and maybe the start of a few fish but gone a bit quiet again gone a bit quiet again but look at that Where are we going with this one then? The silver over range. The, the, the oh yeah, one. the long one. Yeah, the long one. With the long leg, the uh, two teeth that stick out. near you, Nick. Hopefully that catches a rhinoceros a pig. Yeah. Again.
Well, what an afternoon. Battery died over there. Done a bit of stalking with Nick. It's, it's quite apparent that 90% of the lake's population, I would say, are underneath over there underneath them trees and i'm not i'm not talking a couple of foot off i'm talking six inches off the bank um this afternoon like i said about an hour i was watching them i saw a nice mirror come in drop down have a feed come up and i saw a common as well drop down have a feed come up so obviously as i've been saying sure the last two rods well the lot my, my, my two rods have been in front of this tree over the duration of the last got a few days and this rod is just off it so tonight i've got the left hand rod here left hand rod just off the spot which i've done earlier and dropped the boat and the right hand rod nick's just pouted over there in the woods so i went all the way around got the lead and i've literally dropped it on with, dropped it in with a bit of a phone and i have tipped a bucket of bait over the top of it literally tipped Mm, I say that much of a bottom of a bucket just literally his phone come up bump, dropped it straight over the top so that is my right hand rod settling in for the night the lads up there Trev's not feeling great today he's having a bit of a turn so we're um, gonna have a little congregation there just up from the swim and have a social this evening a few beers and that but I'm going. I'm being very, very cautious of um, battery life because I didn't. Stupidly, I didn't bring my battery charger with me. I've got four batteries, but now this is the third battery. I've got one battery after this. I've just started this, so I can bring you guys a good video. I'm just going to chill out a little bit because I want to obviously finish it and hopefully bring you some more action. But I can't complain. One fish today. Obviously, two fish all together. But hopefully, tonight's the night the action starts. Come on the Nossa pigs. Oh, it's a cold one this morning, it really is. But yet again, another really slow night. Not a fish. I think I had one beep at about three in the morning. Could have been a liner. It was probably definitely a liner because I'm back led down. But none of the other lads have had anything. So you can't bloody buy a bite at night time. I don't know what's going on. Lovely pink sky this morning. Now I managed to get a bit of that on the drone, so that's quite cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can have a repeat yesterday. And when they do switch on um, in the morning, I can I can nab them. But you're not going to see much of me today, because I'm going to concentrate on getting a fish on the bank, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast when that comes. I need a shower, recharge, and I'm probably gonna do some stalking. So if you do see me, it's probably gonna be of a fish. Cause like I said, I gotta be very wary and I'll keep banging on about it. I know it's none of your guys problem watching this video, but um, I've gotta be careful with these batteries. Not a bad night's sleep though. Bed's comfy in that, it was warm, but um, I'd rather been pouting out my, my bag and hitting into a rod with a 50 pounder, that would have been. That would have been the ultimate, but three nights left now. So we've got Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. Um, three nights, three days, full days. So still plenty of time and all it takes is one fish and that changes the whole morale and changes everything. I mean, to be fair, it would make my trip if I caught a fish over 40 pound now. So that's what I'm gonna look for, fish over 40 pound. I mean, obviously I look for, I look for that. I mean, I just want a fish over 40 pound. Um, I'm doing everything right. I'm fishing on point. I know I am because I can film just everything about what I'm doing is, is right, but I just don't think they're feeding. I really don't. So, without further ado, I'm going to carry on my day. Um, enjoy the day. Um, like I said, have a shower. And I'll hopefully, you see me with an absolute banger. But well, it was almost on point to yesterday, really. So, half 11 came. Left hand rod literally a couple of liners and then about half past 11 same time as yesterday major drop back scramble pulling up putting my waders because obviously i've got to get in the water my rods are in the water my rods still drop back as i'm coming as i'm walking up to my rod my bobbin starts coming back up again pulls into it yet yeah, contact played it for about i don't know 40 seconds 50 seconds even the lads are in the water getting the net ready and everything pulls over to the left where there's some like weeds and that I go just come off fuck it I felt it I felt it spit the urk got it got it so 
So, um, second loss for me. Bit of a pain, bit of a pain, but I'm going to keep positive. Left hand rod back out in the money. I took it out of the boat, which I'd done yesterday, and then the middle rod because it, I think it pulled over it because I had a few beeps on the middle rod. So I've got two rods on that spot, as I mentioned last night. But I think the fish that I had is obviously disturbed my right hand rod. So just to be safe and have that sort of reassurance in my own head, I've redone that little bag on that just went out absolutely on point first cast, thank God. Catapulted out a bit of bait over the top of it. That's all I can do. But he, he's in. She ain't been feeling great today, old Trev. And now, left hand rod's absolutely screamed off. Go on, mate. Well done. Go on, son. Hey! That's what we're looking, late, late 20. What we'll do is we'll get the fish in there and I'll zero this set up. <laughs> well, he's only went and done it. Bit of a funny mouth on it, but uh, first fish you, absolutely buzzing for you, mate. Cheers, Smashed it, smashed it. Well done, well done. It's a lot. hard work. <laughs> 29, 12, common, brilliant. Come on, bud. Hey, well done, mate. <laughs> well, <laughs> Rod Durham is back out. I'm so glad he's had one. Um, I think we're going to call that fish the parrot. <laughs> or John Merrick, one of the two. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, so glad he's had one. I'd rather have a fish, I'd rather him have a fish than nothing at all. So no, it's absolutely brilliant. It's funny because I've done a lap and I went over there and um, they're over again, they're over there again in their numbers. The wind's hacking in that thing, but they're right up against the bank again. Right in the snags, they obviously feel safe there. But another fish in the bank, so that's fish number three, a couple of losses. Hopefully that's the start of something. I know I say this every clip, but I really do hope. Just mark the go now, so <coughs> fingers crossed for him. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add the sauce, this is the fish one, I'm not going to fish this tonight, but I'm going to fish this tomorrow, this is the nut one, excuse the bit of foam there, mix the two in, and what I'll do is, mix that right up now mix that right up let it set overnight and that will draw into the bait and then it enhances literally anything you're using so whether that be pellet boilies i like to do it the night before so like i said it pulls into the bait the two again recently i've been fishing the two together but i will flick on to other ones as the duration of the well the year goes on etc and throughout the seasons obviously flick to the ones that I want to but yeah I'm gonna leave that tonight let that soak in and then um, fish over the top of it tomorrow because obviously they like the pellet in there so that's the plan Stan guys a little check-in really just before we're well, not before bed I'm gonna chill but um, again another slow day and although I'm glad Trev's had one um, got all my baits prepped for tomorrow a couple more nights ahead now just be really nice to get into one of the big ones that's what we've come here for a proper nosa pig we want a real nice real nice big one would be absolutely lovely so i'm gonna leave it at that and i'll probably check in in the morning <sighs> it's freezing this morning look at that so but 12 o'clock last night just had a little chat with the lads nick he said he lost an absolute tank 
Oh, just, I'm gutted for him. Picked up on the margin rod, went up. He said it didn't feel very big, and all of a sudden, zzz, 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 zzz. You know, what a catfish he bites. He didn't just keep going, but it was like short and fast little. Oh, so gutted for him, but over here, Trev's got another one in there. Apparently, it's in mid 20, so he's just had it. Let's go and get some footage. <laughs> right, well, he's done it again. 31 and a half pound. <laughs> Look at that for a fish. Buzzing for you, mate. Second fish for Trev and a PB. Happy days. And a group effort. Well done, mate. Smashed it. <laughs> Get in there. Wow, what a morning. So, we've sort of discussed now, and um, over the, I mean, I've had pellet in my mix from day dot, but I think, um, and so has Trev, and we were the ones, only two that have had fish. Um, Nick's moved on to it last night, the pellet, had a fish. Mark, unfortunately, hasn't had anything yet, but there's definitely something in that. Um, I think probably a lot of the people that do come here say to um terry you know I'll, I'll take a sack of pellet so a hell of a lot of pellet probably goes in the water if i'm honest look at this look at this it it's just absolutely mega it looks looks amazing in the morning the weather next week's going through the roof it's uh, better weather than we've had this week uh, mid 20s we've had low 20s in sort of late teens so which is a bit of a shame really but it's what it is you can't you can't do nothing about that um definitely looking forward to my breakfast um, crate of beer ready to go today, so I'm gonna have a few beers, I think. And um, like I said, I think it's now 48 hours ahead of us, and then we're off. Um, so 48 hours to get the job done, you know. I ain't come here to catch 20 pounders, I ain't come here to catch 30 pounders, you know. I've, I would like 50 really, you know, call me greedy, but I, that's why I come to France, you know, to catch 50 pounders, not, not 20 and 30s, but they're in here. Hopefully the bigger fish, the bigger stamp of fish, start dropping down and feeding. So, fingers crossed. I had to put this in the video so Terry come down yesterday and he said to me Ben he said put this in the video he said the importance of using safe rigs so we've got a leader here <laughs> what the hell is this not safe at all going down to this there's no way that's coming off so that fish is going to be swimming around with that in its mouth for the rest of its life until it gets caught again. That bead's doing diddly squit because there's not a top bead on it. You don't need to fish a chod here because, well, there's no obstructions. It's quite a clean bottom. Look at this lead. <laughs> and then he's he sort of pulled the lead core through like that. What the f God knows what people are thinking. my personal opinion on this is keep it clean don't try and do things that you've never done before when you come over to France 
what you do in England will still catch fish in France. Again, most people come over this and go, oh, I've got to change everything, got to do this, got to do... Just use the same stuff you're using in England and you will produce fish. But yeah, death rig, I'm going to call that. Horrendous. So yeah, a little food for thought there, guys. Be very careful with what you're doing. And if you're not sure, I'm sure if you speak to um, the owner, uh, Terry will put you on to something and show you exactly how to fish your rigs if you're unsure. Beer number two. Early start, baby. <laughs> well, all showered now and feeling a little bit fresher, to be honest. Um, Mark's giving up. He's been doing some bass fishing, mate. You can't even catch a bass, can you? <laughs> no no. So, um, just had my, uh, obviously again at the beginning of the video, I don't know if I mentioned, but I haven't had my jab, so the ladies just come down and I just had to have my PCR test, she rams it up my nose and then I'm opening my mouth thinking, right, I've just put it up my nose, now she's going to put it down my throat. No, nope, she's like, other nostril. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely savage it was, so anyway, that's done. I'm back down here and apparently in the duration of the time that I was gone I had a beep so what I am going to do is I'm going to leave the rods out probably to about two o'clock and then I'm going to bring them in I'm going to redo them um, they have been out for a hell of a long while quite a, quite a while now so that's the plan of action lovely day a few more beers um, is that it well it's definitely on the on the cards and a nice chilled out afternoon so all we need now is some absolute rhinoceropigs and some 50 pounders come on the carp Right, well, needs must now. Um, that's the right, uh, the, sorry, the two right hand rods done. So I've cast the other side with the right hand rod down here. I've literally pouted it the other side, went over and filled it in. Middle rod, I've cast as per normal. Um, little OG fish on the top there, 13 wraps. And then left hand rod, I've pouted over here, and I'm going to go up and ask Nick in a second. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is, is fish this now I'd never normally fish sticks that long obviously um, but because I'm gonna go over and drop it and I'm get away with it and I'm literally gonna tip that whole bucket it was probably that much in the bottom I'm gonna tip that directly so I'm gonna wait for the phone to pop up and then just drop that at the top and that's well it's got catfish written all over it really I've been soaking the pellets you saw me soak the pellets last night in the sauce they've been soaking all night there's also a handful of the other boilies i've been using i think these are called sweet seed or something or sweet nut and then um, bio marine or something i think these ones are called these ones here and obviously you can see the dumbbells there the og og fish the ogs that i brung over with me so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go up there now ask nick for a hand i'm going to get that left hand rod out just off there's some basically i keep seeing a catfish show <laughs> over the duration of last week first day we come here third day we come here and two day and, and a day ago so it's literally there's like a there's like a weed bed and i'm going to drop it just off the weed bed and like i said i'm going to fill it in so that's the plan stan fingers crossed that produces a fish i'm going to come back and then like i said i'm going to enjoy the evening i wasn't going to do all three rods but like i say 40 hours left these rods are probably going to stay out now the duration then 48 hours um what else is going on up here now i think mark and his dad are redoing his rods i think nick's re redone his rods up there so yeah it's all all hands on deck at the moment so i'm quite in, quite i'm quite looking forward to sitting down in a second and just chilling out and enjoying a beer so that's right get down here excuse that there's my line i can see that where is it there it is there it is. Right. Right hand rod.
Well, there we go. All three rods out. Happy with them. Physically can't do any more. Time to sit back, enjoy a beer, and enjoy the afternoon. Come on the carp. Maybe come on the catfish, but who knows? <laughs> See you soon. Well, nothing to report yet, but just a few beers. Very hard going, I'm sitting there. We're just, basically, we're sat just up. I'm literally locked onto the water. There's the odd thing show to the left, which is probably about six, seven wraps-ish away from the spot, but I'll say it and I'll say it again, you just gotta keep positive, I guess, but it's a little bit depressing, it really is. Lovely sun, but Fingers crossed. Taking a while. <laughs> He's in. Look at this. Look at this. The man who can. Fish number three. Just said he put his net Is this going to be the 40 pounder? He just said he was going to put his net pole back together, didn't he? <laughs> he did, didn't he? He got up. He's had a nap and he goes, yeah, Do you know. Probably landing it together. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the 40 pounder? I feel like it. Nah. He's just coming straight in. To be continued. Hey. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't even bother recording. The pasty basher. <laughs> the pasty. The pasty basher. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's hooked into it, but it's about ten pound, I think, if that. <sighs> what a shame. And off she goes. Well, that's it. Boat. Well, we took the little. Uh, Took the boat out, left hand rod, back out on the money. There's like a silver birch that sort of overhangs, if you like, and it's and it's right underneath it. I mean, I mean, right underneath it. <sighs> wow, it's as good a chance as any, if I'm honest. But rod's back on the money. Hopefully, come on the forty pounders. She got Nick over there in the water now. He's given up. He's trying to catch rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he hooked into something earlier, didn't he? He hooked into something and <laughs> nearly pulled him in the water. Bless him. I've never seen a gingerbread man get pulled in the water so fast, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, he actually he bags a a nice nice sized catfish or a decent sized bass happy days look at that kebab tonight chips Keb oh, mate, i'm yeah. buzzing look at that oh, thanks, food at its yeah. finest lake there oh, mate oh, get in my stomach do you want them um <laughs> oh viennetta <laughs> Oh, lovely, jubbly. <laughs> well, we just had our Viennetta ice cream, absolutely banging. Kebabs tonight, pita breads, banging. <sighs> Food, absolutely banging. Fishing, on the other hand, not so, yeah. But, I'm gonna sit back now, we're gonna enjoy the evening, have a few more beers. And as, to be honest, like, I know, I know there's not, I know you guys can't feel this, but the temperature's dropped massively already. Massively. It really, really has. Um, come this time of the evening, it just drops. It's meant to go down to about six degrees tonight. Last night was absolutely Baltic. It was absolutely freezing. Um, but again, I said to the owner, I'm like, Look, mate, last night I was freezing. He's come down with a shroud. He's like, yeah, put this over your, put this over your bed chair, credit where it's due, 
customer service at its absolute finest and um I, well hopefully i'm going to be warm tonight well definitely going to be warm tonight so i'm going to leave it at that guys again food on point oh, please 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 tonight 50 pounder that's all i'm asking for I'm asking for much just a 50. <laughs> Nick's come down and he's got one in this sling and he's saying it's an absolute chunk. So happy for him. And what I'm going to say is, guys, is he always does it. He always nicks them. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad this lake hasn't beat us. I was getting to the point thinking, you know, are we going to leave it without catching a chunk? And, he, you know, Nick's pulled it out of the bag and he's done it again. So hopefully we can put a little bit of footage together now, put something sort of spectacular together and show you what beast he's got. <laughs> Is it? Is it? It's about fifty. It's about. It's about fifty-five pounds. It's about fifty-five pounds. Slowly, guys. See if someone can give me a hand. He's on the ground, dude. Is he? There you go. Fifty-five, twelve. Come on. Come on! <laughs> yes! That's hard work, mate. <laughs> well, what a moment that was. We all had together there, and what a fish. 50 pound, what was it? 50 pound? 50 pound six. 50 pound and six oh, ounces. Absolute tank. Biggest fish in the lake. Nick's done it yet again. And I'm sure that's made this video. There's one fish that kept it ticking in the back of my mind the whole time I was here. When you go on the when you go on the Facebook page and you keep looking back through the pictures, it was that fish. It was the Zorro, and I've actually seen it on the bank. I'm absolutely buzzing for you, Nick. Fair play, mate. Smashed it yet again. <laughs> Still on cloud nine for Nick. I really, really am. Just. What a fish, what a tank, what a tank. I know I keep banging on about it, but it was just an absolute rhinocerpig. I mean, proper nosopig. But what I was gonna say is, guys, as well, 
if you haven't already and, you, and this may be the first video you've watched on the channel um, I'd really appreciate if you go over to Parker Bates Instagram and Facebook and click that follow or like button um, to help me and my brother grow our brand it's a family run business um, a lot of time effort and love and passion goes into our bait rolling and um, we're a UK based company of the south of England and um, like I said it's a it's a, something I'm very passionate about my bait so if you get five minutes please 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 go over to Parker Baits and like I said click that follow or click that um that thumbs up I greatly appreciate it thank you very much yeah. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Wow. Breakfast smashed. Egg and bacon roll or sandwich this morning. That was nice, to be fair. Went a bit too quick. <laughs> In, inhaled it so bite time for me particularly in this spot when I start getting liners is around half 11 and it's uh, about half 10 now so I've got the next hour next hour I sort of really do hop around sort of this bivy area if you like so I'm um, looking nice really is I'd really know you know the ultimate now the absolute ultimate would be to nail the common in it there's a common in it that goes just over 50 apparently as well so that would be that yeah that would that would make that would make it for me so if we could get one of them i don't care if it's me but if one of us catches that that would just be game over thank you very much we've got 24 hours left now um it literally is 24 hours left we've got to be off tomorrow 11 o'clock um we don't leave we don't go home tomorrow because we're going to stay in a hotel ibis thing and then we're going to get some um um, there's like a steak grill place up the road which is like half an hour up the road and then that then is like a 20 euro um there's 20 euros to get from there to the airport so we're going to do that but our, our flight's not till sunday three o'clock something like that so yeah that's the update for now guys hopefully i can bring you something a little bit special it would lovely like i said it'd be lovely to get another one on the bank or have a few on the bank before we leave but nevertheless, like I say, uh, my trip's made, seeing Nick and seeing that fish on the bank. What a beast, what a beast. I'll catch you guys in a bit. That period now, Mark and his dad have just gone up the shop. It's now 20 to one. So, bit of a shame really, because there was a lot of action, a lot of fizzing out there this morning. Um, and historically, and just in the duration of the week I've been here, um, that between 11 and half past seems to be that magic time or when I've had the my losses or my, my the fish I've had so or the a fish I had so yeah a bit frustrating but keep it positive and like I said this is so we've got the rest of the duration of the day tonight and then yeah obviously off tomorrow which is a little bit depressing but you've got to leave sometimes it's just going to be nice to get back to the family etc so I'm gonna keep locking onto the water. I think we've got some nice food coming. I think we're gonna have some pizzas this afternoon. So we're going up the supermarché and <laughs> um, we're gonna, we've got an oven, access to an oven down there. And what I will try and do is guys, um, before I leave is actually take you around that hut. So if anybody does want to come here to, to Forest Lakes, then they can, um, well, see, see, see what it's all about really. And you've also got a hot tub up there as well. And it's, um, I, I mean, great if you're with your family, kids, etc. Because this is the perfect scenario for something like that. But that's not my cup of tea. You know, I come here to fish. Um, and I've, as a lot of you know, um, who've watched the channel, um, I'm, 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 I'm really into it. You know, I've, I've foods out the window. It's fish, 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 and I'm, I'm locked onto. It. I take it very seriously. So that's what I'm doing. Um, it just would be lovely to just have a random screamer and just nail that fish that I'm after but like I said keep positive smile on the face still I'll catch you in a bit well Trev's just made my absolute year if anybody who knows me knows I love my sushi and it's really fresh as well mate when you're watching this you're an absolute legend and that means a lot I appreciate it massively I want to sit back and enjoy this Lovely. Well, I've just come round the other side and um, well, I ran back and got the camera. Mark's redoing his rod. So my right hand rod, if I can pull into it, 
it's just down there over in sort of this section of them weeds over there and there was about three fish feeding a minute ago like obvious like vortex in coming up proper troughing so I got the art racing a little bit ran back got the camera that'd be lovely really would be lovely if that left hand rod goes yep yeah, I can still see a fish over there now the camera's not going to pick it up <sighs> bum twitchy moment come on rods well I'm definitely not going to be able to bring the camera up there but I'm definitely going to get up that tree and see if I can get a better angle on it to see whether I can see what they're doing over there I can see a fish on top, I can see a fish on top, I can see a fish on top, there's a fish on top I think that's three fish on top. Oh my God, that is over me. That is over me. Please drop down. That there is fish. That there's a fish. And there's a fish next to it and there's a fish in front. Oh, look at this. <sighs> Come on, drop down, please. Please, please, please. Oh, they're swirling over, mate. There's loads of fish over there. There's loads of fish feeding. This is the most action I've seen all week over this left hand rod, my side. Oh my God. Come on, fish. I'm still over his madness. There's about 10 fish. There's loads of fish. <sighs> A lot of them are milling around on the top, but it'd be lovely for one of them to drop. Come on, the carp. So I don't know if I've done this the rest of the week, but I just put my drink down. This is where I got my rod. So all this, half the lake across here is probably about that deep. She's not even fishable. But where the weed are, it starts getting deep. Well, again, where I was showing you, that's where I was a minute ago. But this is the lake from the rear end. So you've got Nick, Trev, Marty and me. I mean, if I was coming over, you're looking tops, four anglers, absolute tops. Three would probably be ideal. I think four's a little bit much sometimes. But where Nick is up there, is where all the fish have been showing. Uh, I've seen Nick where he had the big one this morning, it was just down there on the margin. But yeah, there's an insight of what the other end of the lake looks like. You know, it says on the website four acres, but I don't think it's four acres. I reckon you're looking two and a half acres, if that. So there it is. Anyway, I'm gonna keep walking round. I'm gonna be take keep quiet. There's a bag there, so someone's been using that as their marker to obviously cast to the other side, which a lot of bait was put in there last week, I think. But just down there, there's been a loads of vortex in. Really carpy over it. Really, really is. Again, there's a bit of angle for you. You can get a gauge. If you did come over, you can see exactly what you'd do. You know, you could fish washing lines down here, etc. There's Nick up there, he's doing some bass fishing. I'll just turn it round again so you get a gauge. There you go. So, a little bit further over again, that's Nick's peg and where he's been having. we were looking out there earlier and there's like slicks coming up the big one he had last night was just down there just off the shrubbery when you're looking from this bank it's sort of a little shrubbery and he's fishing about half a foot just off it and he lost a good one from there as well so it's obviously a, a spot that produces and i think that done a 44 pound mirror last week down here as well so keep pulling around for you Again, she got a good insight of what's going on here before we leave tomorrow. And this is almost not fishable from this point on. Very shallow all down here. 
again that's a so good gauge of what this hunt now to quickly go over the hut so obviously that's where we've all been fishing i'm at the end nick's down here but if i turn around the hut is down here so let me show you inside the hut So this is the hut and obviously you get this included in the price of when you hire the lake out itself. You've got a hot tub there like I mentioned earlier, which is actually not too bad, pretty warm. And then this is inside, so let me show you. So you've got some cooking facilities, freezer, fridge, nice sofa here. I'm assuming in the sort of colder months you've got something to warm up the cabin itself. Loads of DVDs underneath there. Cooking facilities, oven, grill, etc. TV, double bed. You know, so again, if you were to come with the missus and she, you know, she don't want to sleep out there or the family, kids, etc. That's there. Toilet. Clean toilet. Again, joke aside, and you probably think, Ben, why are you showing us a toilet? But I do think this is a massive factor when you're coming into France because I have fished in places that are absolutely terrible. And this is far from terrible, this is something else. And then you've got the shower facilities in it. So you've got a mirror on the wall there, running water. And to be fair, the shower's been absolutely banging. Really warm, clean facilities, and enough for any fishermen. So that is the cabin, guys. And voila. Well, that's the pizzas in the oven for a little pre-dinner, because we're fatties. I'm gonna head back to the lake. Let's go. This don't be shy, he says. What we got? Pizza. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's look at that. The joys of having an oven at the lakeside, mate. Don't have to wait for food. Lovely jubbly. And look at that. Lovely jubbly. So a little pre-dinner. That was very nice. Joys of having an oven. I'm still seeing sh um, signs of fish on that left hand rod but if i'm honest i don't know what i'm doing wrong they're clearly up in the, the higher levels of the water even though it's about <coughs> excuse me about three foot there if that i just hope they drop i really do hope they drop because it'd be lovely to try and nick one in this light before it gets dark failing that if we don't have one or if i don't have one before it gets it gets um, dark, I mean, it, it, just, just anything, just anything would be really, really nice. But they're clearly over there, as you've probably seen through the drone footage. Crazy, mega really, and I mean that. All week, I've been flicking the drone up for a, not long, just a couple of minutes, checking it out, and that is the most I've seen, hands down. So looking forward to dinner, I'll keep you posted. That is madness. Massive Bosch, just over the back there. Come on the carp. Right, well, in the end, um, we sat here, they, I, had, I had to move a rod, I had to move a rod. So middle rod, so left hand rod, stay where it is, in between the two bits of weed. But my, now my middle rod is just off the weed, and I've literally went out of the boat and dumped. I've literally dumped a load of pellet over there, boily, etc, etc. So, fingers crossed. Dinner's not here yet, but I'm looking forward to dinner. Sit back, come on the nosses. tonight look at that double whammy burger chicken potato salad lovely jubbly tuck in time mate eh mate you're an addict mate not playing anymore and then two seconds later <laughs> not, a not a drug addict a gambling addict it's not normal you see this this is sky vegas <laughs> 
and I've won about a thousand pounds this week. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Right then guys, so I just thought I'd keep in the loop. Absolutely banging dinner, again. So it was like a double burger. Absolutely, and, and chips and chicken. Really, really nice. And again, what a way to finish. But it's, it's actually quite good news because Terry's just come round the owner and he said, um, the guys tomorrow aren't turning up till like five, six o'clock, which is banging for us because we don't have to leave now till like four o'clock and he's going to then drop us back to the hotel. We're going to stay in an Ibis about 20 minutes away like I mentioned earlier from the airport and then obviously leave Sunday our flight's not till three o'clock Sunday something like that so yeah buzzing for that really because I know my bike time down my ends anywhere between 11 and one o'clock really so that's fantastic so I'm not going to miss that so it's actually sort of put a smile on my face to a degree because if it doesn't happen tonight even though I just had a beep which is the latest I've had a beep just before I went to bed really normally I get it in the morning and then I have nothing in the night and then it starts again in the morning but I've had a beep already but wouldn't it be lovely tonight for one of us, especially Mark, to just nail that big one? That would absolutely make the trip. Without a shadow of a doubt, it would make the trip. So, bring on the Nossers tonight. And fingers crossed, we bag that £50 common. He's only in. <laughs> He's only in. There you go. See, addict, mate. Addict. <laughs> right, well... No more beeps since the last one. Camera's going away for this evening. Going to enjoy the evening with the lads for the last night. And then I'll check in if I catch a fish. Come on, Rods. Tonight's the night. Don't let me down. Come on, the OG fish. Parker Bates, baby. <sighs> gutted. Absolutely gutted. So it's just gone about... Um, just gone half past nine and um, we went to bed a little bit early like just shutting my eyes and all of a sudden left hand rod <laughs> screaming off absolutely screaming off puts my waders on jumps in the water the guys up Nick said Christ sound like a deer jumping in the water hit into my rod Marty was in the water with me hit into it loosened off my clutch <laughs> proper carpy it was, one catfishy, nodding around, fat a good in. They always do I guess, they always feel a good in. <sighs> Hook pull. That's three fish I've lost this week. I've had one. I don't know what. Just, just, just one of them. One of them absolutely gutting. I'm absolutely gutted. But last night I thought this is it. This could this be it? Could that be the one? Could that have been the one? I don't know. But anyway, Rod's back out. Thanks to Mike's giving me a hand. I've cast the other side walked out filled it in exactly where i put it before and it's marked because there's two bits of weed and i know the bits of weed because i've been staring at them all day so i've dropped it in there put the same mix over the top yeah so i'm going to get back in the bed now and um yeah oh, gutted mate absolutely gutted Right, well, slowly packing down. I've just emptied the bivvy. We don't have to be off till three o'clock, like I mentioned earlier. It's only like 11. Good few hours to go, but just when they do come down, it's just a case of just throwing the bags in then and, and getting off. But um, Mark's um, redone his rods. Trev's redone his rods. I know Nick's left his out. I've just left mine out because I'm happy with them and I know they're presentated. There's always time to that last minute, you know, and I'm gonna bring my rods in at the last minute because I ain't had the best week as you guys know. And if you've watched the whole video through, it's been it's been hard, it's been really hard, not just for me, for Mark, Trev and Nick, you know, although Nick's had a good one. We've all been fishing our backsides off to just do everything we can within our armory to try and land something and it's just been hard, really hard, and I think that's due to the the temperatures I don't think it's going to switch on next week it might um, after a few days um, it goes to mid 20 next week tomorrow's 20 day after that's 20 and then it starts going up and I think it's going to take a, a couple
couple of days for it to get into the rhythm and then yeah it might it might switch on you know seeing all them fish out over my swim over the over the week yesterday and then the run that i had was that rod it's just, just i don't like the word depressing but it is a little bit it really really is because when you keep losing them you, like i said i've said it about 50 times in this video you start doubting yourself you think what am i doing wrong but i'm gonna keep plugging away like i said a few more hours to go breakfast was lovely i had a breakfast roll this morning egg hash browns bacon uh, mushroom i think was in there as well I smothered it in ketchup salt and pepper job done it was lovely and that will keep me going uh, till this evening i think we're gonna like i said before and again i've definitely said it in the video we're gonna stay in a hotel tonight and go out for a nice meal and i'm quite looking forward to laying in a nice bed tonight i really am I'm gonna leave it at that, but I will keep you posted. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy well, this. Two and a half hours now and counting to go. Still nothing, um, but just locked onto the water, hoping and praying that a miracle occurs in the duration of the next few hours. Um, you can sit and hope, I guess, but that's all we can do at the moment. I think Mark's up there having a shower. And they're allowed to sit up there now, so. Fingers crossed and roll on the next couple of hours. Oh, nearly there, nearly there now. So, about an hour left, about an hour left. I'm just gonna do one more lap before we go. Guys are sitting by my rods, so they're looking after them for a sec. But oh, there's still time. There's still time. I'm going to try and keep positive. <laughs> I really am, but yeah, not looking too good. I'll definitely check in before I leave. 100%. Right then, guys. Well, that is my session here finished at Forest Lakes in France. It's been an absolute pleasure being here this week, although. It's been very, very, very hard. But again, that is the realities of fishing. As much as I'd like to come here, guys, put loads of fish on the bank for you and bring in absolutely wicked video um, with fish coming out of my ears, that just obviously hasn't been the case this particular session. Although Nick had that biggest one in the lake. So what I am gonna say is, guys, just before I go, thank you very much for watching this blog. I hope you've liked it. Give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you same time next Sunday, 7.30. Thanks very much, peace out. And if you are over here guys and you do you do visit Forest Lakes, it'd be very interesting. Please get at me via a PM, whether that be Parker Bates or my own personal. And again, I will put well what I'll do is I'll put them on the screen now. Um, if you do come over here, because I think uh, uh, Trev, and his, uh, Trev and Mark are due back September next year so it'll be very interesting to see what's come out between now and then so like I say give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below guys thanks very much for watching peace out and I'll see you next Sunday all the best